last class we have seen about the introduction of the CDS what is the importance of the CDS and why CDS has been so powerful nowadays because of its reusability in the different platform it is having so many reusability on the different platform that we try to understand whether it is UI5 application or it is BI or BW application or whether it is uh, uh, Fury application or embedded analytics everywhere one CDS can be used that's what we have understood in our last class okay we have seen some example that example was uh, related with uh, you know here we have demonstrated that one cds can be used in fury or ui5 and the annotation mainly we are going to use it in context of fury or ui5 if we want to consume the cds for fury or ui5 application there mostly then this annotation we are going to use then in BOPF also we can integrate the CDS with the BOPF using the add the rate semantics annotation it's going to be helpful when we have to expose this CDS to BOPF for analytics application where BI or BW comes into the picture there we are having add the rate default aggregation some mean max like that you know wherever the aggregate function comes into the picture the default aggregation will take place so that's where it will come then in s4 hana in s4 hana itself for the real time scenario we are using this embedded analytics and there this vdm comes into the picture this vdm is very popular nowadays this vdm is very popular nowadays so this one this vdm and this fury or ui5 with uh, like this will be our main focus mostly as a, a map on hana developer this is going to be our priority focus okay this is going to be our priority focus so okay fine and this bopf also we will see that how we can integrate this one uh, this is not frequently used but as part of our course we'll try to understand how we can integrate the bopf with the cds okay fine so let's go ahead and uh, we'll see some more stuff however we have seen that uh, uh, we have defined some cds over there one simple cds we have seen in our last class and then cds with parameter we have seen and how we can consume that cds with parameter in our report program that also uh, we have seen here we have created this report program right similarly we have also seen how one cds can be consumed in another cds okay we can put the select query on the cds that we know already right so let's go to the system and we'll create some more cds and we'll try to understand the further concept which we are going to discuss today okay fine we'll also see some example related with some inner join outer join okay so this kind of stuff we'll try to see and we'll try to explore how we can use inner join left outer join and all these things okay then we'll come to the association so today our main agenda will be for association i will also see some inbuilt function how we can use the inbuilt function we'll also see that how we can use some you know uh, aggregate function okay some case and when statement also we can use it over here uh, nicely that also will say let's go to the system um, going to log in over here and we'll create one more cds where we can consume the existing cds okay fine so in our last class we have created some cds let me try to find out those cds where we have created okay 
so go to the local object and ABAP on HANA core data services that's fine from here we can go and find out okay ZMB03 under this package we have created okay ADBC demo ADBC this is fine demo one this is this is what we have created double click over here so this is the first series we have created here what we have done that we are selecting some fields from this Mara table and this CDS we have consumed in our report directly we can put the select query on the CDS as usual we do in the you know our report with the help of open sql the same cds we can also you know the same cds we can also consume in another cds so for that we have created you know the zmb03 may underscore cds2 we have created this one right okay this is the series with parameters this is we have created cds with parameters so here we are passing some parameters over here right and here we are passing the filtering condition that means for this parameter which we are passing so those who have joined today and have not attended my previous classes so they must have to attend the previous means they must have to go through the video then it will be better for you to understand okay Okay, so we have understood this one and then the last CDS what we have created is the ZMB03 MAY underscore CDS3. Okay, so you'll see here that we have seen that the existing CDS we are putting the select query on the existing CDS and we are defining a new CDS. Okay, let's go ahead. And we'll try to create some more CDS with some inner join and all. Okay. So name of the CDS we are going to give it over here. Uh, Jet MB03 CDS my CDS four. okay go to the next and go to the next we'll choose a simple template define view only or define view with join just i want to show you with the join also so if we know the open sql it's very easy to learn this series here let's give some sql view name over here we have understood that this one is the mandatory one at least we have to pass this sql view name okay so let's give the sql view name as something uh, mb03 uh, sc11 uh, demo4 okay so it should not it should not be more than four uh, 16 characters data source we can give some let's take some uh, example from our snwd underscore so table there we have a lot of data okay there we have some sample data in a nice way so before going over there i will just try to make you understand that how our epm data model is we already know just we'll be having some quick revision that how our epm data model and uh, so that if i write the select query over there it will be easy for us to understand okay so epm data model we are having over here okay so uh the, these are some tables i have just taken and uh, uh, uh put over here our, our reference this is not the complete data model but the table which we are going to use frequently okay but the table which we are going to use frequently that we have put it over here okay so snwd underscore so this is similar to the vbak table which we are having in the ecc sales order header table okay so in the sales order header table if you see here this is the you know test 
table given by the SAP just for practice. So this is the name of the table SNWD underscore SO. In this table, we are having various fields. One field is no un node underscore key. So this node underscore key is the primary key, which is going to identify the records uniquely. Okay. Another field is SO underscore ID. If you compare with the VVAK table of ECC, their SO underscore ID, that means the VBELN is our the primary key. But here node underscore key is the primary key. Okay. Here, here SO underscore ID sales order number is the same as the there the field VBELN. Okay. So just let's try to understand that here we are having the node key as the primary key then s1 underscore id the sales order number then other field like created by created at changed by changed at created by bp all these different field we are having then buyer grid it is going to represent the business partner that means the customer or vendor and to get the extra information the detailed information about the corresponding business partner we are having the another table SNWD underscore BPA. So we can put the inner join with this table and we can, you know, find out uh, the result, you know, the corresponding detail we can find out. Similarly, if this, this BPA uh, table is having the address grid, this is the unique representation for the address. This is related with the SNWD underscore AD table and their node underscore key is the same as the address guide over here. Okay, so the complete information we can find out with this node underscore key. Okay, corresponding to this address underscore guide. So address underscore guide and node underscore key both is same. In the different table, just name is different, but the meaning is same. Okay. Here, this is the sales order item table. We are mainly going to consider this table and this table, sales order table and sales order item table. We have taken this te table for our reference scenario because it is having the good data and we can analyze it. It is having also the least data. As per our requirement, we can populate the data as well. So that's the benefit with this table. Okay. So here you can see that. Uh, whatever the node underscore key in this SNWD underscore SO table is there. The same is the parent underscore key. So we can relate parent underscore key field with the node underscore key field of the SNWD underscore SO table. Means the header table is having node underscore key is the key field, but the item table is having, you know, in this, you can see that here in header table also node underscore key is the key field. In item table also node underscore key is the key field, but this node underscore key is the unique key for the sales order item table. Here node underscore key is the unique key for the sales order header table. So this node underscore key and this node underscore key is not the same, okay? Here parent underscore key is the same as the node underscore key of the sales order header table. So if you understand this one, actually why I'm focusing over here. So the future journey will be easy for you and for me also to make you understand. Okay, so here whatever the node underscore key in the sales order header table, we are having the same field here the named as the parent underscore key. Fine, let's go there and we will put that query now. We are going to define this view jade mb03 my cds4 as select from here left outer join by default it will I means uh, the left outer join uh, from the template it is coming if you want to you know if you want to change the template you can change the template as well if you want to by default make it inner join okay you can do so so what you can do that you can go to this template just behind this if you are having select the template which you want to change okay so define view with join this is the template i am using this one In the template description you can find out over here just below this here it is not properly visible you can click on this edit button and here you can get the you know 
complete description for the template and now if you want to change this template for example inner join you want to put every time okay so you can go and put the inner join and you can save it click on this whatever whatever you know you will use the template uh, and i have saved now so if you are going to use second time this define view with join here the inner join will come okay let it be like this outer join only it was given by the sap however i have changed no problem so left outer join join data source name so this is the table which we can give it over here so sales order i'm going to uh put the join with snwd underscore so underscore i this is the header table this is the item table we are going to put the left outer join join condition will have to give similar as we give in the open sql here we can give the field name so control space you can give and you will see that what are the possible value you are having so it's just taking some time okay so here in snwd underscore so is having the node key right just we have seen the node key and this node key is linked with what field of snwd underscore so underscore i just i have discussed with you can any one of you please tell me which field i will have to choose it over here for this joint element name if you check out this particular information over here which this this you know this table key, so. yes parent key very good mm -hmm. so yes the parent underscore key will have to use it over here okay so i hope now you understand the relation between this table we are going to use it frequently so now it's good and here if you suppose don't know the name of the field you can simply control a space if you do that you know the insert all elements it's coming from s underscore i s underscore s o or for from all this table the element is coming and if you want to double click over here automatically all the element from both the table will come and populate right so you can see that so i'm going to remove some unnecessary field which i don't want okay so item atp status this i don't tax amount maybe you can keep it this tax amount and note underscore good note underscore good is nothing but the description suppose some item is having some description okay so this note underscore good is the unique field okay the unique identifier and this is having the relationship with another table there you can go and find out the detail of the description this is just an identifier if you want you can keep it or just leave it if later it is required we can insert over here okay so now product underscore good this so many fields are there i don't require these many fields right so I don't require these many fields so many fields has come let's remove most of the field key 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 okay let's have and let's have some field from the sales order item table okay from the sales order header table we have kept some field and some field we will keep it from the sales order item table so let's go snwd underscore so underscore i dot some of the field like the currency code or net amount we can give that's it as the item net amount item net amount we can give the alias as well right as created by person sales order id so sales order ids we can write that sales order 
and then the SNWD underscore node key. This node key is nothing but you know sales order header number. This sales order sales as so header key we can write like this okay and this client we can remove client is not required okay so some four fields i have just taken it over here and it's going to work in the same way as it works so here left outer join you can use you can also use the inner join so if we're going to use the left outer join all the field from the so will come and whichever field is matching with so underscore i that only is going to come okay just check the syntax above syntax check contains warning it contains warning no problem we can ignore this warning or if you want to just check like if you can remove the warning go to this problem some warning is there inconsistency no control and all we can ignore this one we will see how we can uh, port the access control and all okay activate this one and it will activation finished with warning it got activated press f8 in order to see the preview and here you go we are able to see the data you can see that this is the sales order we are having right and this created by person and the, the item net amount is coming over here the total number of entries you can find out from here 122 right and uh, if you want to see the log of what we have been doing right so here you can see that when i put the total number of entries on this particular number of entries over here what it has done actually it has done generated sql select count to start from this okay this is what it is doing when i put on this number of entries here you can see 746 the time is here 746 so it will also I mean still uh, just i have pressed f8 so when f8 uh, i have done what actually it has executed right internally so this is what it has executed and then the finished query then all this log it is telling so the last is select count to start from this okay so from here you can go and check if you want to select some column which particular column only you want to see from here you can you can also put the filter okay you can put the filter on some specific sales order from here by selecting okay sql console also you can go directly from here to the sql console it will open in a new tab so you can see that this is the sql console from the sql console it's a coming right so come over here close this close this one okay now you can also use the inner join you can also use the inner join so just check it activate it okay so also here the right outer join it also supports okay right outer join that's the beauty of cds earlier you know in the open sql uh before netweaver Net 7.40 okay it was not supporting the right outer join so now in open sql also it supports the right outer join and here in cds also it supports the right outer join okay so this is the important one and then here like suppose if you want to use some aggregate function for example we are having some net amount over here right so right out to join and all you we have kept that's fine so if you want to use some aggregate function so what are those aggregate function mean right max give the comma over here mean max sum count these are the aggregate function so aggregate function uh, we are supposed to use on currency or quantity field right only on numeric field we can use it then only it will make the sense otherwise there is no sense right item minimum item net amount i can keep it and here we can keep it the max item net amount comma then we can give it over here uh, some count or some some function okay so just 
I will take this value only and total sum if you want to do it over here as a total sum and similarly the count if you want to count some value for example if you want to count this number okay so or maybe net amount i'm just going to take because if you take the node key that is the unique one it will take all the record as count what it is telling unexpected word snwd underscore so comma we have given count a star edge okay let me do give the star over here edge uh, count number fine so we have given like this over here and now whenever we use the aggregate function we must have to give the group by clause okay in open sql also we give the group by color clause and the non aggregate key we are going to keep under the group by clause so what is the non aggregate key we are having the non aggregate key the node underscore key then we are having iso underscore id give the comma in between then come over here and also give the created underscore by created underscore by okay so this is what we have given save 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 it and some error it is telling let's see what is the error the name node key is not unique which name node key some name we are using it over here it is telling that that's not unique just go and correct the name node okay this is telling that it is not unique why directly you are using this node key so because it's not unique i'm going to tell that take this node key from the snwd underscore so table okay so now it is fine and the error is now gone just save it check the syntax and activate it so this is how you can use the activation is successful the aggregate function you can use so what is the thumb rule over here the same thumb rule if you are going to use the aggregate function non aggregate column should be under the group by clause and that group by clause should be after this cds element okay where you can see what are the cds element we have used over here you can see that here just under the outline for this elements it is telling that these are the cds elements we are using so header key sales order created by so from here actually you will be having a nice representation what are the field you are going to select you can see what are the table you are going to use from this outline so if you are having the big cds it is going to be very useful okay here just save it we have already saved and activated press f8 it will give us the result and you can see that we are having the result available over here okay so this is how we can use the aggregate function now we can also use the you know we can also use case and vein statement over here as we use in the new open sql okay as we use in the name new open sql we can use in the same way over here i'll just show you remove all these things it is now not required we have just checked how it's working so for example if some created by person here it is showing this value right here it is showing some value over here or sales or id node underscore key uh maybe uh, we can take some net amount okay we can take some net amount so give the comma over here is in wd underscore so dot control space and let us see some amount field so that i can compare and i can show you the case and vein state case and vein statement how we can use it over here okay so 
so so so so client changed by by agreed status let me check this billing status okay so snwd underscore aso dot billing status this field i just want to you know put under the case and when statement so case keep this field over here copy paste it over here and just you write over here the when statement when the billing status what is the possible value for this billing status that we should know first so let me check that one what can be the possible value and similarly we'll go and write the query okay just save it some error is there comma we have given that is the two times we have given so it's giving the error now remove this comma okay what it is telling the problem column billing status is not contained in the group by so group by is now not required because we are not using okay any aggregate function just save it check the syntax now and activate it got activated press if it the billing status nothing is coming for the billing status right nothing is coming for the billing status over here just it is blank so we can write the code like this no problem we can write the code like this that if it is blank case give the comma over here and case the billing status when it's a blank when it's a blank then just give the value something like you know it is blank okay some value conditional value we can put it and when and when it is some value for example it might have some value like one or two i am not sure suppose if it is one then in that case i'm going to give the value over here as one so it's just some dummy example we are having not a real time example kind of dummy example we have here the comma is not required not necessary to give the comma over here and case should be end with the end case sorry and edge will have to give the name for this uh, you know for this uh, particular field where it should come as a alias so the new billing status or billing status description a billing status description we can give and that's it this much only will have to give some warning it is showing let us see case expression without else okay let's give the else over here else you know don't know something like that uh, not know so in case of blank or if blank is there it is blank in case of one is there we are going to give the one in case of you know uh, in case of one is there then we are going to give one and in case of else it is there then we are going to give a not no okay so it is done let us click on this save button we are having some you know option coming over here that else then not no uh, some error is here the unexpected word not no okay unexpected word not no why it's telling not no it looks good for me oh sorry then we have given else not no so this then is creating the problem okay this then then is creating the problem okay now it's fine just click on this save button and click on this 
about syntax check this is fine and click on this activate button it is fine press f8 you can see that wherever the status blank is there it is telling blank so this is how you can use the case and when statement okay this is how you can use the case and when statement fine so this we have seen now let's go and try to understand about the association this association is going to be very powerful concept in this cds very very powerful okay it's a very very powerful concept and it's very confusing also uh, powerful concept if we're going to use it perfectly it is going to be like a performance booster okay it is going to work like a performance booster if you're going to use it properly okay so the proper understanding of association is very important okay so a powerful concept a performance booster we can tell if used properly if used properly this association you can relate with the inner join this association can be related with the inner join the association and inner join can be compared together but there are some basic differences what are those differences what are those differences uh, differences that we'll try to understand let us first see one example then it will be better for us to uh, make you know uh, to understand that how it's going to work and you know and suppose if we're going to learn some theoretical aspect it will be better in the situation to correlate so let's first take some example and we'll try to understand how this association is going to work similarly to the inner join or outer join something like that so it is same as uh, it is almost same as the you know join only but uh, some basic differences are there first we'll create one cds where association will be involved so cds using association we are going to create zmb03 may underscore cd s5 cds using association go to the next next if you want you can choose this define view with association okay at this point of time not going to choose let's choose this define view only and we will try to create the association from the basic view only we'll write our own code and we'll see how we can write the code okay so here sql view name we must have to give the sql view name we know that mb03 uh, is the 11 demo 5 okay so this is the sql view name we have given data source we can take it from snwd underscore so whenever the association comes into the picture certainly two table will come right because it is the same as the join so join is possible between the two tables similarly the association should have minimum two table means one table is going to associate with the two tab uh, uh, another table so define view i select from snwd underscore so association the name of the table you can give snwd underscore so underscore i so this is the another table this is the another table and then the own condition you can give over here snwd underscore aso dot control space and here you know that the node underscore key the select it equals to s 
n w t underscore s o underscore i and parent underscore key okay so here this association is now we have created over here so this is the syntax this is the normal syntax for the association how we write it if we're going to take some field so i'm going to take the node underscore key so which node key there are two node key in aso also we are having the node key and in item also we are also having the node key right so which node key okay which node key here in the association by default it will consider from the left table okay the difference is starting now if it is the if it is the inner join or if it is the outer join if any kind of join is over here you know if any kind of join is over here it is going to create the problem okay here you can see that it's not giving any error or something like that there is no error but just if you give over here the outer join left outer join or inner join let me give the left outer join okay and as soon as i give the left outer join it's giving the error over here it's telling the name node key is not unique okay so here in case of join we must have to specify the table from which this node underscore key we are going to select because this node underscore key field is there in both the table snwd underscore so and snwd underscore so underscore i but in case of association such problem does not happen okay this field if the both if this field is present in both the table then what will happen that by default this field will be considered from the left table important point this is one important point another important point if you want to take the field from the right table this is your right table okay this is the left table and this is your right table okay so if you want to take the data from the right table you must have to specify the right table over here sn wd underscore so underscore i and you can give the field name over here for example i'm going to take the field name net amount if you directly give the net amount field over here it will not work okay it will give you the error why it's not giving the error at this point of time because this net amount field is also present in snwd underscore so so by default it will consider this particular field from this uh, you know underscore so field but the parent underscore key field is only present in this so if you give this parent underscore key it will give you the error if you give the parent underscore key it is telling that this field is not you know the column parent key is not known why because this particular field is not defaulted from this particular left table and that's why system is unable to identify this particular field and hence it is not understood so in this case if some of the field if you want to take from the right table in that case you must have to give the table name i'm going to give the table name copy this and paste it over here and full stop okay so this is your association this is your association now is the association is this much only no there are so many concept is you know there in this association okay so this table is associated with this particular table sales order header table is associated with this sales order item table but how right but how it is associated when we tell a sales order table is having the join with the sales order item table you may ask that what kind of join left outer join inner join or right outer join or full outer join right there are four kinds of join similarly if we talk about the association association is having the you know 
different kind of association how your the first table is going to have the relationship with the second table okay how your this first table is going to have the relationship with the second table okay that we define with the help of cardinality right that we define with the help of cardinality so cardinality defines how one table has been associated with the another table what is the meaning of association over here the meaning of association means the record of the sales order header table is having how many corresponding reports in the item tables the record in the header table can have how many corresponding report record in the item table that's the meaning of cardinality okay that's the meaning of cardinality that we will understand okay let us check the syntax activate this one it's now activated and then click on this f8 button and you can see that the result is coming the result is coming over here now before seeing the result and having the proper understanding let's go and understand the content in the table so that you know it will be easy for us to you know differentiate the uh, behavior in the result how the result is going to impact in the different scenario if we having the proper understanding about the data we can understand it okay let's log into the system and we will open the table snwd underscore so and snwd underscore so underscore i so both the table we are going to open it's taking some time just to hold on come to sc 16 snwd underscore so run this and here you can see we are having 20 entries okay just observe that we are having 20 entries so i have just created yesterday night 20 entries i have removed all the entries it's very easy to create the entry now you know in this table you can go to scpm underscore dg right we already know this transaction we have been using earlier also many times right so just i'm making revise this is the place from where you can go and create the entry okay so 2020 entry I have just created so that we can uh differentiate the behavior in the result we can identify easily just observe over here this is the node key this is the in the in this in this color i think this is the blue color okay in this color we are having the key for this particular you know uh record so unique identifier for this node underscore key under this sales order header this is our sales order number this is the created by this is the person name who has created right this is the created at time stamp this is the changed by who has changed the same person name you can see created and changed by changed at time the same the note guide this is the description guide okay note guide means some note you are going to keep it somewhere so for that it is the identifier buyer guide that means nothing but the your business partner number okay snwd underscore bpa you can go over there and you can put it over there you will get the complete detail okay currency code gross amount all these things we already know okay so why i'm talking about all these things you know just observe these 20 records we are having over here and then we are having in another table so underscore i snwd underscore so underscore i f7 we are having over here total 122 records okay here this is the parent key through which it is associated with the snwd underscore so table okay so this is the field through which it is connected with that so for a single sales order header it is having the multiple item you can see for 6025 6025 it is having the 10 items it is having the 10 items right 10 20 30 40 similarly 6026 it is having again the 10 items so like that the item is there somewhere it is having only eight items here you can see that it is only 
10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 so for same sales order it is having eight items okay so here 122 records we are having okay here we are having the 122 records now 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 if you see the output over here how many output you are getting over here okay if you check out the maximum number of rows is 100 you have uh, written over there so 100 rows retrieved it is during i'm just going to give 500 over here okay give the 500 and press enter you can see the 120 rows it has retrieved okay that means for all the sales order header value the item is there okay and all the item data has been taken from the right table okay all the item data has been taken from the right table okay for this field that's why 122 is coming but but you know as we have told how the association has been defined from this table to this table right with the help of cardinality where we have given the cardinality i have not given any cardinality over here we have not given any symbol over here so actually system by default takes the cardinality okay system by default takes the cardinality 0 dot dot 1 we represent the cardinality like this okay this should be here actually okay we define the cardinality like this okay so here just after the association you will have to put the cardinality minimum zero and maximum one this is also again confusing i will ask some question but before that uh, or this is the right time to ask the question can you tell me what is the meaning of zero and one over here one by one i would like to get the answer from each one of you because this is an important concept okay so what is the meaning of zero dot dot one over here so suppose we are having this table okay so can you tell me what is here we are having the zero dot dot one okay this is the cardinality how this table has been associated with this table i have given zero dot dot one what is the meaning of this what is for the meaning of this for every zero record there can be a single record in the item table okay in so right for if, yeah so in the it right says, table okay so in the right table you mean to say that uh, this zero you were telling that this zero is there in this table right and the one is there in the means suppose if there is no record exist in this table for that also you know one record will be existing over there that is not possible right because the sales order item table has been checked table relationship has been uh, is having the foreign key relationship with this header key right so if if some header record is not present then in that case the item record will not be possible so if something is zero over here here it is not possible to have okay so now we might uh, getting confused that your understanding is not correct yes your understanding is not correct i was also initially a lot of having confusion in this okay but with the time and with proper you know uh reading and all gradually i came to understand okay so this concept is not correct now if i'm going to give one dot dot star okay so here also whatever the concept you were thinking as per that corresponding to one record over here it can have the multiple record okay that understanding is fine that can be possible that one corresponding to one record over here you know the multiple record can be possible over here that is fine okay but the meaning of one dot or the star is not that one the meaning of that is not because if this understanding is correct 
then this stand uh, this understanding would have been also correct which is not correct so the meaning of this means actually this 0 dot dot 1 is not going to tell it anything about the left table okay the 0 dot dot 1 is not going to tell anything about the left table okay again i repeat the 0 dot dot 1 is nowhere telling anything about this left table it is just telling about the right table that whatever the record you are having so the same record either you can have over here the zero record or one record maximum that is what we are telling if you are going to tell zero dot dot a star the meaning of this means corresponding to a single record over here in the left table you can have over here the zero record that means you can have not any record or maximum you can have unlimited record star means unlimited any number of records you can have okay so this association tells about the right table that how many records minimum can have or how many maximum record can have corresponding to a record which is present over there in the left table okay so that's the meaning of you know meaning of this particular zero dot dot start that's the meaning of by default behavior of the understanding any question over here yeah zero in the beginning uh, doesn't uh, tell us anything about the left table Since... yes right yes you are right it does not tell anything about the left table it does tell about in the right table you can have the minimum zero record and maximum you can have the one record it does not tell anything about the left table okay please remember this is very important one okay so fine so now now if you put the cursor over here it is telling that cardinality of a cardinality one of association snwd underscore so underscore i does not match to the on condition okay read once again cardinality one of association snwd underscore so underscore one does not match to the on condition okay what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this it is telling you have given it is telling you are telling that minimum can be zero and maximum can be one right but here the system internally go and check that this one node key can have the multiple value as a parent key right we have seen that one node key is having the multiple value if you can come over here and if you see for one parent key right for 6025 you have right so if you go and check to the table slash n sc 11 go to snwd underscore so underscore i click on this display button click on this content and come over here take some value for example any value you can take 6025 i'm going to take and if you just filter it out over here for this parent key right whatever the node key is there here it is parent key in the item table run it and you can see the multiple value 10 records we are and what we are telling to the system it is having the maximum one record which is wrong right which is wrong so the correct cardinality we are supposed to give so that performance will be better okay performance will be better because correctly we are telling something about something though we are giving one also we are getting the result correctly right we are getting the result correctly right but it is not good from the performance point of view okay you will also get the result not correct every time if you give the you know a wrong cardinality so here the result is fine but if you see the number of count click on this number of entries it is telling only 20 is it number of entry 20 the number of entry is 20 over here no it's 122 something like that it was there right if you see the number of entry the total number of entries 120 row two rows but if you click on this number of entries over here it is telling 20 means system is half understanding and half not understanding right if you 
put the click on the show log over here it is putting when it has to find the number of entries it is putting this select query but you know it is not getting the correct result why because we have given the wrong cardinality right we have given the wrong cardinality if you give the star over here this is the correct one this error also gone here some another warning is coming if you put the cursor over here it's telling the association snwd underscore s underscore i can modify the cardinality of the result set what is the meaning of this okay the association snwd underscore so underscore i can modify the cardinality of the result set okay the meaning of this means here what actually we are using we are using the value from the associated table we are using the value from the associated table so when you are going to use the value from the associated table it must have to perform the join it must have to perform the join okay it must have to perform the join okay but suppose if we're not going to use it over here this parent key i'm going to comment this one okay if we're not going to get the data from the right table from this right table just you are getting the data only from this table okay just you are getting the data from this table from the left table okay so since you are getting only the data from the left table okay or and in that case if we're going to use the cardinality 0 dot dot 1 okay if we're going to use the cardinality 0 dot dot 1 and here in the cds element list just you are taking the field from the left table in that case actually it will not perform the inner join with the sales order item table the reason behind there is no field over here why or unnecessarily it will go and fetch the data from here why not required right why it is not required at all it is not required at all why unnecessarily it will go and get the feature the data from this item table so just remember if you are having the association over here 0 dot dot 1 or 1 dot dot 1 means minimum 1 or maximum 1 or 0 dot dot 1 in that case it will not go and hit the sales order item table if it is not present over here in the series if this field is not there why to go and hit but if you are having the inner join but suppose if you are using the inner join instead of association over here every time it will go and hit the you know right table every time it will go and hit the right uh, hit the right table okay that's one difference you might be now able to understand so how it's going to improve the performance right okay now suppose if you have kept this field over here okay suppose you have kept this field over here okay but in the report which you have developed okay see we are talking about the beauty of association how beautiful it is here for going to just run it it is going to you know put the cell uh, it's it's going to get the data from this table also and from this table also internally it is going to put the inner join only internally this association is going to convert into inner join only so at the database layer association is nothing it will get converted into the inner join but what kind of inner join whether it will be converted into the inner join or not it all depends on the scenario how you are defining it over here it all depends on the scenario for this cardinality for the cds element what you are using it over here right so now suppose you have what we have understood at this point of time that suppose if you're not going to give this particular you know uh, field and you are using 0 dot dot 1 or 1 dot dot 1 over here and if you're going to pre-safe it to find out to see the 
preview in that case it will must go and hit this particular item table because it has to show to you this parent key right from the item table so it will go and hit but but suppose you have created the cds you have activated properly and in the report you are going to write like this select node underscore key comma net underscore amount from the cds the cds name you have given now can you tell me whether it will hit the snwd underscore so underscore i table or not whether it will hit the snwd underscore so underscore i table or not no sir no or yes yes or no no sir. yes it will not hit it will not hit because see how intelligently the association is working over here right because we are only going to get two fields why to hit the another you know field there is no meaning so th this is how it's going to improve the performance as soon as you make this parent key underscore over here what it will do that it will hit in that case but unnecessarily it will not hit unnecessarily it will not hit but this heating kind of stuff is going to take place only when you are going to use the correct cardinality over here in this case in this case you can see that 0 dot dot 1 we are just giving over here which is not the correct cardinality the correct cardinality is 0 dot dot star in case of 0 dot dot star or 1 dot dot star what will happen that it will you know 0 dot dot star or 1 dot dot star every time it will put the inner join on snwd underscore so underscore i irrespective of this whatever you give or not give it does not you know it does not take care it will not take care okay it will not take care it will it will put the inner join so these are some points i will just list it out okay so here hope you understand that in case of zero dot dot star or one dot dot star every time it will go and hit so in this particular scenario it is not possible to avoid the select query on the right table okay any question anyone uh, is having any question uh, yes Mankaj. Uh, yeah. uh, regarding mm -hmm. the zero dot dot star mm -hmm. now uh, when we say zero zero mm -hmm. records from the right table mm -hmm. uh, will it act as an inner join then because so minimum we are having the zero or maximum we are having the star yeah so so um, yeah. in inner join like if we consider the inner join then inner join is uh, like if if we have a minimum record in the right table also then only we get the record yeah if 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 we are going to write inner join over here every time it will go and perform the inner join every time okay yes no association yeah. also by default it act as an inner joint right or i'm um, left mistaken out right. left out oh, joint. left out Associ right. yeah association okay. by by default behaves like a left outer joint okay so this behaves like a left outer joint okay this acts like a left outer joint so it will must perform every time join if you give the zero dot dot star it will must perform every time the left outer join okay so here you can see that this is the correct cardinality and when i have given the correct cardinality over here just activate this one press f8 and click on now here you can see that we are having the 100 results just come over here give the 500 the maximum press into 122 is fine and if you click on this number of entries here 122 this time it is showing the correct result because we are using the correct you know cardinality so we must have to use a correct cardinality if you want to you know get the correct result but now you might be thinking this association is so much confusing right this association is so much confusing why sap is using this one yeah it is confusing that is true but it is very much powerful so whichever 
so some some thing is powerful some if anything is powerful that has to be you know in certain ways complex because so many if else you know so so many things will be there that's why so much concept is associated with that we should know how to use it properly it is going to be very powerful in the fury app okay so this association concept is very much powerful in the fury app if you just go and check take some example of the fury app for example the master detail page what is the master detail page master detail app image in fury app at many places you know it's going to help it so here you can see that this is the master detail page this is the master detail page we are having okay so here we are having the list over here and you can see here we are having what the corresponding information so for this particular 10 inch portable dvd player all the information the general information the technical data we are having at a right hand side similarly for seven inch wide screen if we're going to click over here it will just display the corresponding data okay so what association will also help you to achieve it will not show you all the data in one go okay that is another benefit whatever the data is required suppose if you want to see the information about the second you know seven inch wide screen portable dvd player it will take the information from the database about this particular object only okay so actually association is of two types association is of two types before going to the types of association here one thing also is important to understand we can also give the name of the association okay how to define the name of the association edge uh, demo association okay demo association you can give so this will become your name of the association so this association is telling about the relationship between this snwd underscore so to snwd underscore so underscore i as soon as you give the name of the association here you can see that it's giving the error it's not able to identify this table you must have to give the association name once you give the name of the association instead of the table name instead of the table name you must have to give the you know you must have to give the association name okay so now if you see that error is gone here also you'll have to use this you know the association name only because the association we are supposed to use now the error is gone some warning is there the same warning it will tell cardinality will be affected and all okay so that's fine no problem so zero dot dot star the name of the association is this but to name the association as a best practice sap suggesting to use the underscore over here why why we are going to use underscore over here suppose you have a big cds in that if you want to identify because this association you can use in another cds also using the path expression there is a concept called path expression we will see in coming classes with the help of that the association you can use okay so if you have a big code uh, means a lot of number of codes a lot of lines of code are written over there in that if we are going to you know use this association with underscore you will be able to easily identify that oh because it's going to start with underscore that means it is certainly association that's why sap is recommending whenever we are going to use the association please start with underscore 
underscore however this is not mandatory but as a better practice as a best practice we are supposed to use underscore so underscore you can use it over here also and here also okay so this is some important point now you understood now there are two types of association ad hoc association and exposed association okay ad hoc association and exposed association if we're going to use the field from the right hand side that means from the associated table if we're going to use the field from the associated table in that case every time inner join on the runtime itself uh, sorry left outer join by default it will be left outer join so whenever i tell you know inner join just ignore that one because for the association it will be by default left outer join so please you know uh, ignore that statement actually it is by default left outer join okay so underscore demo underscore association dot parent key it is coming from the right table okay from this association so when we are going to use the association that means it is going to get the data from the right table okay so every time it will perform the join every time it will perform the left outer join and it will show you the data so this is known as the ad hoc association this is known as the ad hoc ad hoc association okay because it has to show the data and it is only possible to show the data when it will put the join and get the data right how this association has been converted into the select query you can right click over here and you can see that how so sql create a statement corresponding to this particular statement how the sql has been generated you can see this is the sql left outer many to many join right this is the left outer join left outer join is also of different type many to one many to many like that it is having right so here left outer join just think about this left outer okay so you can see how internally the select query has been generated okay so every association is going to convert into the join that you can find from the right click and you can go to the so sql create a statement and from there you can find it fine now we are having another association called exposed association exposed association this exposed association is having the feature called you know join on demand join on demand when it is necessary then only it will go and fetch the data that's what we have seen under over here if we're going to click on this particular you know header uh, object you can uh, you can uh, understood like a header object then the corresponding item detail will appear over here okay so not every time it is going to have the you know uh, it's going to have the access of right table so how to use this exposed association to use the exposed association just you will have to give the name of the you know name of the association over here just simply you'll have to give and now if you just give the name of the <coughs> association over here if you just give the name of the association over here and if you run it over here you know it will come like this no data from the right table will come but if you want to see the data from the right table what you can do right click over here and you can see that you are getting one option over here that follow association this is due to that uh, syntax which we have given at last okay this is due to this i've just given this one no that that's why it is coming over there okay so if you if you want to see all the you know all the associated item you can come and you can check so for double click over here and six zero oh sorry i have done some mistake i have done some mistake just run it press effect and come over here right click and follow association 
here. Six one six seven. The parent key is coming. You can see that six zero two five. No, what I am actually trying to show you that I want to show you only. But here we are trying. We are getting all the data. Fine. No issue. So actually, what I'm trying to show you over here that when we are going to click on this, press F8 once again. When we are going to right click over here, it is telling me, you know, the follow association. Okay, the follow association over here. And when I'm going to click on this 6025, it will just show the 6025 related stuff, not about all, not about all. But at this point of time, it's showing all this. Why? Because we are not using over here some wear condition. It is just exposing all. When it is required, then it is going to get the data. So in wear condition, you can pass the filter condition, the field you are going to you know select. So that is possible. So with that, we can do so just activate you over here. But what you can understand at this point of time that if you're going to press f8 right click over here follow association if you're going to click and click over here or then only it is going to perform you know uh then only it's going to perform the association and it's getting the data from the right table you can see this is the data from the right table okay client node underscore key parent underscore key sales order item position product underscore all this data is coming from the right table okay so just if you want to see the related data only for that we'll have to put the filter condition over here and that filter condition we can pass based upon the selected field that also you'll see when we are going to develop a fury app and with that when we are going to integrate it okay so unnecessarily it will not go and fetch the data from the sales order item table when it is required it will just go and get the relevant data by applying the filter okay the relevant data by applying the filter okay we'll see that one how to do so this is the important point about the association so all the important point we have discussed it over here let us you know document it so what we can do that i have already documented i will just copy and paste from there okay you can just go through this one i will copy and paste it over here so all the important point almost i have discussed just we'll go through these slides once again and if you don't understand anything then in that case I will try to make you understand. Okay. Fine. So this is one and another also we are having this one association and cardinality. So whatever we have just discussed, everything is over here. Okay. So no need to write once again. Again, it will take another half an hour to write everything. So it's better. Just I will copy and paste from there to here. Okay. <clears throat> Just I will read it for you. So here, yeah, this one is the important point. Association is also known as the lazy join. Association is known as the join on demand in case of what? In case of the just we have seen this exposed association. In case of exposed association, it is going to be known as the, you know, in case of exposed association, it is going to be known as the join on demand so this is two important term there are two types of association ad hoc association and exposed association just we have seen ad hoc association it always you know does the join irrespective of the demand it is same as the join every association is converted to join at a dv level right we just have seen under association all the field is first looked from the left table 
if it is not present in first table we are supposed to give the table name from which the data is being fetched okay in join if a field is not unique we must have to give the table name to identify the uniqueness right we have seen in beginning itself we define the association name not an alias for the table right what i mean to stay over here right if we're going to give the as don't understand that this is the alias name for this particular table you don't have to understand that this is the alias name for this particular table actually this is the name of the association and what is the association the association is from from this left table to right table so the name for this association is this this is not the name for the you know uh, this table okay right table that's what i'm trying to tell you over here we define the association name not that's fine it is recommended by sap to use the name of the association starting with underscore as a better practice to distinguish the association name in large cdsb where association has been used in path expression and etc okay rules of cardinality cardinality is optional fine that we have seen if we don't give the cardinality also it takes the by default cardinality what is the by default cardinality by default cardinality is 0 dot dot 1 okay default value of minimum is 0 default value of minimum is 0 and default value of maximum is a star okay now here 1 means 0 dot dot 1 3 means 0 dot dot 3 similarly if we're going to give what i mean to tell over here suppose if you don't want to give 0 dot dot a star simply you can give a star over here the meaning of a star means nothing but zero dot dot a star okay if you don't want to give zero dot dot one simply you give one over here the meaning of this means zero dot dot one okay if you give two over here the meaning of this means zero dot dot two that's what we have written it over here so one means zero dot dot one three means zero dot dot three a star means zero dot dot a star okay minimum can't be a star and maximum can't be zero this is one of the important interview question okay what minimum cannot be and what maximum cannot be in the cardinality okay so minimum cannot be a star that is logical and maximum cannot be zero that is also logical association cardinality this also we have already discussed everything here you can see that in case of cardinality greater than one following rules are applied with syntax check okay this actually uh, we have not explicitly discussed but we have discussed this one what actually we are trying to tell it over here that if we're going to you know give zero dot dot a star over here so it is having some limitation what is those limitation that actually we are trying to discuss in these slides the first limitation is that here the first limitation is this one syntax error will be thrown if association name is used in where clause okay so if we're going to use in the where clause right to put this association name it will give you the error for example here we are having this association name control c and put it over here where here i'm just going to give the parent key sum okay and where if we're going to use the where condition right if we're going to use the where condition so underscore demo underscore association dot uh, dot parent underscore key and if you give some filter value some let's give some test or something like that some filter value it's you can see that it's giving the error why it's giving the error the region behind we have given zero dot dot a star over here if zero dot dot a star is there you cannot use the you know filter like this but if it is zero dot dot one if the cardinality is zero dot dot one is there you can use this one okay just save it it should not give the error why it's giving the error we'll have to give the semicolon over here okay let us see what it is telling data type conflict in a selection position okay okay this is due to the data type conflict so parent underscore key is the good kind of stuff so we can give like one two okay and just save it now now what is the error let us see that data type in selection condition or 
ऑन कंडीशन और ए जीरो हाइफन पैरेंट की नो दिस इज करेक्ट दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट विद दिस इट इज कमिंग द एरर डॉट पैरेंट स्कोर की द डेटा टाइप कंफ्लिक्ट कैरेक्टर डेटा टाइप इट इज नॉट अ कैरेक्टर डेटा टाइप ओके नाउ जस्ट सेव इट and let us see that again it's giving the error why this error is why this error is so with this it will certainly give the error it is not allowed but with the 0.1 dot dot it is allowed it is giving some another error just i'm trying to identify okay let me give some another you know another field over here so i'm going to give some net amount net amount and this is fine some data type issue is coming over there right so here it's working fine and if you give the star over here it will come into the error right so in case of 0.0, .0 star you will not be able to use the filter condition on the other hand if we are going to give 0.0.1 or 1.0.1 dot dot you should be able to use okay in case of 0.0 dot dot star or 1.0 dot dot star you will not be able to use so 0.0 dot dot star is giving the error right and in 1.0 dot dot star also it will give the error that's what actually we are trying to understand in that okay it's telling that if you read that it's in dot dot star not allowed here right don't have to remember everything it will give the error right it will give the error you can just read it from there just as a trainer it's my duty to you know compile all these things most of the time just if you know the basic concept of association you will be able to you know at the run time itself it will give you all the error and all accordingly you can uh, adjust you can modify the error you can simply read and you will be able to understand okay however i have documented all these things over here then uh, the second point is that if the cardinality is greater than you know one 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 error you have just seen what is the error and another is it's giving the you know warning if you if we're going to use that you know you can see that it's giving the warning if it is a star greater than one if the cardinality is greater than one in that case this is the error association demo association can modify the cardinality of the result cell okay the association demo association can modify so this is fine this this syntax warning comes and that is true also we have seen that right and that's what it is telling in the second the association marcy can modify the cardinality of the result set the same thing okay now if association name is used then target fields need to be accessed with the help of association name we have seen that if we're going to use the association name the field you know this field before this field we must have to specify the name of the association not the table name right this also you don't have to remember okay you don't have to remember it will give you the error and if you put the cursor it will tell how you to you have to correct now the funda fox we have seen that 0.0.1 or 1.1 doesn't have the access to the associated table if no fields from the associated table is there right we have seen that in case of 0.0.1 or 1.0.1 it does not put the join if the associated table field is not there in the cds element list okay in case of 0.0 star or 1.0 star it will always go and put the join irrespective of the field what you have put inside the cds element or not okay with this our association is completed now if you have any question please feel free to discuss because association is very important concept it's a very very important concept so anything if you want to discuss it over here please feel free to discuss or else we will go to the another topic called inbuilt function okay or just one thing i just remember over here that association with inner join association with just this is the topic association with inner join suppose if you want to use your association in form of inner join how you can use so it's very easy it's a very easy what actually you have to do it over here and that 
uh, you'll have to write one simple syntax okay so if you want to perform uh, by default it's a left outer join right by default this is a left outer join if you want to convert into the inner join right so currently how much record it's giving press effect it's giving you know it's giving the 122 right but if you're going to put the inner join in that case also there is a possibility that it will do it will give only you know 122 uh, so how to show you that it's working perfectly for the inner join all right mm. okay let us see if i can show you first let me show you how we can put the inner join over here so just simply what you'll have to do is that you'll have to give over here in a, a bracket inner keyword that's it and this this will work like inner join this left outer join will be converted into the inner join okay just save it and activate it press the fit number of entries 122 only you cannot identify over here the region behind that because all the field from the uh, left table it is present in the right table okay so in order to show that we have to remove some entry from the uh, right table then only we'll be able to see that otherwise it is not possible okay let me see if i can show you slash o go here i'll go to slash n sc 16 n maintain entry option is not enabled over here okay we can create one simple program so z and i'll just click remove some entry from there right select up to select a star up to three rows that will be sufficient from snwd underscore so underscore i into table at the rate data it underscore tab okay and once it is going to come delete snwd underscore so underscore i uh, from there can be several ways to delete okay from table so just i'm going to use like this commit work <coughs> save it activate it activate it some error is there snwd snwd okay run it it has run now and let's go and check the number of entry into snwd underscore so table earlier it was 122 it should have 119 okay only three fields actually we have uh considered mm, that's why but the better what you will have been let's select all the you know i'm going to select some node key from 6025 and 6026 so let's have the 6025 i want to delete everything from the 6025 the one will be sufficient okay where the parent underscore key equals okay run this and now let's go and check 120 oh 12 now it's fine right we are having the 112 one entry we have deleted so now 
now what will happen with the outer join i will just show you the outer join it will uh, so how many entry because you know and the number of entries will be now defer the number of entries will be now defer one entry should be more in in the left outer join all right so if we're going to remove this from here just save it and activate it okay and press f8 and the number of entries is 113 right 113 because it is behaving like a left outer join so one entry which i have deleted right from the header that is going to be considered over here and now if we're going to use the inner join it will show you the 112 entry right it will show you the 112 entry so with this we have understood that it's if we're going to use as an inner join you just have to give this field so activate this one activation is successful is successful press f8 and click the number of entries over here and you can see the 112 okay so only one entry we have deleted and that's why uh, from the because in the left table it is there so you know but in the right table it is not there that's why 112 is coming over here but in case of left outer join it is coming 113 because in the left table that entry is there fine you can also try yourself it's easy one you can create your own example and you can do the experiment with this association you must have to do the experiment in order to understand the association well otherwise you will be confused with this association though it's a very powerful concept okay it is more you know close to the conceptual thinking right it is more close to the conceptual thinking conceptually we are able to identify it over here that if you know so this this stuff also you can write one term you will come across many places that association is close to the conceptual thinking okay i'm just going to write it simply okay association is more closed to the conceptual thinking why because we are using the cardinality and all conceptual thinking means <coughs> logical thinking okay so it's uh, like the association is more close to the conceptual thinking whereas inner join is not okay fine now we'll go and see about the you know uh, uh, inbuilt function we have also to see some you know stuff related with the path expression once we learn about the path expression we will also see that how we can use this association in the path expression okay how we can use this association under the path expression what is the path expression okay so first we'll discuss this one path expression and with association and then we'll go to the inbuilt function because we are already doing the association so with the association itself all the related stuff it's better to complete so association with the path expression path expression what is this path expression path expression is nothing but you know dot what is dot okay here this is nothing but a path expression this dot how we are going to access any field whether it is a open sql or anything right you are going to use you are going to access any component of a particular table using the a dot using the dot okay so dot is a dot is a tool to access you know this is also known as the column selector this is also known as the column selector dot okay so dot with the help of dot you can access the field of the association in another cds okay so here you can see that we are having one cds over here the name of the cds is this one cds5 right just copy this one copy this one and what i'm going to do i'm going to create one another cds and there we'll try to understand how we can access this one okay there we'll try to understand how we can access and this one let's go and try to understand okay 
so this is our first cds this is our just understand that this is our first cds and we are going to create some another cds okay we are going to create some another cds so right click over here and new data definition and uh, we'll give the name as we are giving zmb03 zmb03 my underscore cds six some description association in path expression association using path expression click on this next button click on this finish button okay so as select from what is the select from we are going to give it over here right in the select from here you can use the association okay so how to access the association this is the name of the cds right if you want to put you can put you can put the select query on the association also so how you can do you can use the path expression it means the column selector you can use it over here and then you can give the association name so this is the association name okay come over here and give this so what it will do actually what it will do so this is a view we are creating and add select from this is the cds view and this is the association defined in that cds view on that association we are going to you know fetch the data so we can fetch the data and those data how we can put it over here so all the data i want to fetch so just i'm going to keep the select star over here okay and now whenever you are going to use the association whenever you are going to use the association what you can do if you want you can pass the filter condition over here okay let me give some field over here for example what are the field we can give let me find out some field over here i can copy this both the field copy this paste it over here let's see what is the error it's telling that the component demo session does not exist or is not active okay it's telling this particular association either does not exist or not active let's come over here and save it and activate it demo underscore association right come over here demo underscore association all right this is active why it's giving this error let me check just a second are you able to find any error over here select a star from this is fine this is telling that this is not active component underscore demo underscore association let me copy once again underscore demo copy this one and i will paste it once again over here click on this save button let me give the view name zmb03 my underscore demo we can give the six c11 demo six okay fine this is also true this is this is this is okay define view this is fine as select from this is also okay node underscore key and net underscore amount why it's giving the error i don't know the component demo underscore association does not exist it is there right it is there
okay let me do one thing i'm going to copy this one and i will paste it over here full stop let me use this one as a exposed association okay just save it save it save it activate it activate it okay come over here and let us see just save it and now the error is gone you can see that now the error is gone now it seems it is greater than 16 characters that's it and now it's working fine you can see that so what we come to the conclusion that you know if it is the exposed association in that case it is working fine but in case of ad hoc association it's giving some error let me try once again i didn't realize earlier this particular things just save it okay and now come over here and just refresh this one so not key change something 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 now it's not giving any error i don't know why earlier it was giving the error it is now activated activation finished with warning in in both case it is working fine maybe with inner join is it does it give the error so it will be a new thing for me just let me check if some problem with the inner join or it was just simply giving the error save it save it check this activate this it's activated now so okay save once again activate once again error occurred let me check this log what it is telling cds6 okay so you can see that because in cds6 we are using this particular option maybe due to that it's not allowing uh, you know in in consistent in active version okay so that's why so it seems okay it seems with the inner join if we're going to use the association in form of inner join it is not possible to use in path expression okay but in another form like in the uh, like if we're not going to use the inner join for the left outer join and for in case of ad hoc or exposed association it's very much possible to use that one it's not giving any error just save it activate once again here it's getting activated there is no error in this case and come to here and here also the error will be gone now okay here also the error will be gone now just save it save it save it and just try to activate activate this one it's giving the error over here but now again it is showing the error let me go once again parent key this is fine <clears throat> here it's working fine but here now again it has started giving the error okay okay so it seems that here also it's not working fine okay so it seems that here also it's not working fine right so but in case of exposed association there is no problem right in case of exposed association there is a no problem here it is also got activated properly and here if we can come and just save it and activate it here also it's working fine now we can conclude that in case of exposed association the association can be used under the select query using the path expression this is known as the path expression if you are going to write the select query like this this is known as the path expression okay so here inside this filter condition this filter condition you can give it over here 
what is the filter condition suppose if you want to do some filter condition that is also possible okay so for this association what is the field we have defined it over here you can come and you can check it under this demo association all the field will come right so all the field means what field the data from this is nwd underscore is underscore id right so the parent underscore key is the field over there or there are so many other field any of the field if you want to put the filter over here that is possible to put the filter parent underscore key equals uh, the parent underscore key uh, we can give it some let us suppose we are having the 001 okay what is the error now conflict okay some data type mismatch is there okay let me take some another field here we are having some data issue suppose 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 we are going to use some tax amount okay so the tax amount this is working fine here you can see that if you want to put the filter you can put you can put the greater than condition less than condition so directly association can be used in the select query using the path expression okay using this path expression you can use so just save it activate it and run it no data is coming because we have given the where condition remove this where condition greater than we can give and in this case we should have the data and just refresh this one press f8 once again or uh, here you will get some uh, field to refresh the data we will be having one option to refresh the data this one and just to refresh this and we got the data over here fine so what we can do that we can stop our session over here today and tomorrow we'll see some inbuilt function and gradually what we'll see that we'll try to integrate this particular stuff with the fury app we're also having left with the vdm and all so tomorrow our agenda is to learn the inbuilt function uh, then the vdm mostly we are going to learn tomorrow these two uh, particular topics okay and from today evening we are going to start the opsabab batch if someone of you are interested you can join the opsabab from 7 30 to 9 evening every saturday and sunday we are having the opsabab batch okay so 